Biden's beach house gets a barrier while the border crisis gets scarier. Yes, we can't stop the caravan in our direction, but Joe gets a fence for home protection. <laughs> the Department of Homeland Security is paying more than $450,000 in taxpayer money for security fencing around Joe's beach house in Delaware. Yes, the same Joe Biden who stopped construction of the wall at the southern border. But to be fair, Joe's fence is mostly to keep him from wandering into the neighbor's yard. <laughs> He keeps giving speeches from behind the bird bath, and it's just annoying. <laughs> so, even Biden sees the sense in building a fence. But the optics are worse than an episode of Top Chef featuring Jeffrey Dahmer. <laughs> because as Joe's fence goes up, a new caravan with 2,000 migrants is plowing through Mexico like Brian Stelter through a five-layer wedding cake. <laughs> he orders them, and he's not even going to a wedding. They've already made their way past Mexican armed forces and are headed this way. In fiscal year 2021, 1.7 million migrants crossed the border illegally, according to U.S. Customs and Border Protection. And there's no solution in sight. Certainly not from Kamala. They put her back to work on the national gender strategy. Mm, probably because she's a dame. Ha! A sexist would say. Thank you. <laughs> President Biden, what gives? Look, look, uh, uh, don't tell me about the border. I know the border. I've been there. I went there in uh, 2008, and come on, it's long. You can't get a fence on there, it's too long. So I, I put a fence around my place. Everybody else should do the same thing. It's like a mask, all right? My fence protects you. And half a million dollars, that's not bad for a fence. I mean, half a million, that's what Hunter gets for one of his paintings. And come on, you know, they're, they're not that good. Emily, it's, I mean, this is obvious. It's such an obvious comparison to make, but I can't resist it. He gets a wall, America doesn't. He accepts the logic of a wall. Yeah, but what else do you expect from someone who spends our money without restraint, including his salary? Mm -hmm. It reminds me of when I used to live in Seattle and I would walk my dog by the lake and a homeless camp was erected like overnight. And the neighbor I saw was building this huge fence around their house. So on top of all the tax dollars they were paying, they had to pay with their own money a fence to make sure that they were kept safe from these, from everyone in the camp or whatever. So he's acknowledging exactly what he needs and to the tune of all of our money. Mm -hmm. Remember when all of the DHS contracts were just recently canceled and all of the diverted funds were going toward environmental projects. I that remember that as if it was yesterday. Like it was yesterday. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, basically that all of our tax dollars going to border infrastructure, that's $1.2 billion. Yes. And that doesn't even include that went going to the wall. And okay. now he's spending 500 thousand of our tax dollars again to build his own little fence mm. to keep him inside. We're not used to numbers on this show. <laughs> Kat, clearly this fence is a hateful message. He's saying, I need a barrier between me and people, many of them likely minorities. He could be a racist. He said that? I just said that. Oh. Uh, no. No, I don't think everyone who has a fence is a racist, no. But apparently the wall's racist. Yeah, well, look, See my you know, point? Like, uh, yeah, everybody makes this point. You know, I don't like the wall. I never wanted the wall. I think that we should just remove welfare incentives uh, instead so we can save money on a wall. And then, of course, you know, my husband's more conservative than I am. And he's like, well, look, we got a wall over here. You like this wall in the apartment. You like this wall. You like that wall. I'm like, yeah, babe, I would be cold. <laughs> And then I say, I'm kind of cold right now. And he says, well, why don't you put a sweatshirt on? I don't want to put a sweatshirt on. Why so cold in here? It's cold all the time. And then on and on. <laughs> wow. That's amazing. I feel like I was really there. <laughs> Five months Not in, the huh? perfect <laughs> <laughs> Almost six. Almost six. You're going to make it. But we've been living in sin since four months of dating. Yes. So, yes. but no, I don't think it's the perfect analogy. <laughs> no. All right. Um, but it was an easy one. But it was. And, Thank you know, you. you're a busy man. <laughs> I don't have time to come up with difficult analogies. <laughs> Cyrus, this one made sense. It's red meat. Yeah, true. I mean, it truly it is. Was, I mean, people are not going to like what I had to you, say. You played to the okay. old I base. I love you anyway. I'll give you that. You know, I got to be honest with you, man. Uh, the last couple times I've, I've seen President Biden, especially the town hall, I just, I keep feeling like I'm in Rocky IV watching Apollo Creed just getting killed. I just <laughs> want to throw in the towel. Like, please stop, man. Don't talk no more. I'm sure if you cornered him and said, hey, what's up with that new fence at your house? You'd be like, huh? Yeah. I don't think he knows what's going on anymore. And I, I'm not doing it because it's the joke. It's painful to watch and to see. And 
the people around him. You're probably 100% right. It was, it was probably his wife put a fence in. Like, literally, we're seeing, but he has such a great ace up his sleeve. Doesn't matter if it's dementia or whatever medical ailment he's having, which is causing him to be slow. It's not just the gaps anymore. He has this amazing trump card that he can play at any time. You want to get rid of me? Go ahead. Because <laughs> the Republicans are like, mm, you go with 20, Section 25. Oh, uh, no, we're not. No, we're not. No, we're not. No, we're not. Because of what the progressive monster behind him is coming, the machine is coming. So even we, that's why you're not seeing the right talk that much, serious talk about trying to get rid of them because yeah. we, we can't. The next in line. Curtis, what would you do with the border? Well, first off, the fence is interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, some in the audience weren't even birthed at that time, but remember Ali North, Iran? Oh, of Khan? course, yeah. Remember how he was savaged because he said, I need an electrified fence around my house. I am the target of terrorists. Right. He was. Well, I look at the wall and I say, that's how terrorists are coming in. Mm -hmm. As mayor of New York City, if the voters elect me on November 2nd, that's my primary concern. Because the third time may be the charm. You know they want New York. Yeah. 1992, they tried. Then, obviously, 9-11, they were successful. But they want to come back, whether it's Al-Qaeda, ISIS, or any of those knockoff groups. They want the Big Apple. Mm. The terrorists are coming through that void that's been created. So maybe out of the 2,000 who are marching up through Central America, through Mexico, it could be 10 terrorists in that yeah. group. How would we know? Yeah. There's no vetting process. There's no background checks. And we know already terrorists have been caught of the few that have been in the catch basin. So that is what our biggest concern have to be. If you were a terrorist, right, mm -hmm. in some hovel in South Yemen, I'll get you, my little pretty. This will be the big time. What's the best way to get into the country? Right across the border from Mexico into America. I'd be a terrible terrorist because I'm so lazy. No, I think you'd, I think you'd, no, you'd get too hand. nervous. I would you, get too nervous. You'd talk a lot. You'd talk about I'd it. Talk, I, remember, yeah. I, would like, I would confess before the crime takes place. Well, yeah. <laughs> it'd be a scathing email right before the attack. Yeah, 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 yeah. To whom I'm I make sent concerns. one scathing email to you, terrorist, and you won't let me no, forget it. You only took it. one, you little terrorist. <laughs> Sent us both the skating. Oh. Yeah. Well, <laughs> next, if you see something, say something. <laughs> That's what you do when you see a scathing email. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.